and welcome everybody my name is Savage and today we're going to be looking at ETH against its USDT pair. Thank you for watching this video and if you'd like to show your support please hit that like and subscribe button below if you haven't already feel free to comment with any feedback that you may have in the comment section below and while you're down there you can find a link to our discord. This is where the magic happens we have live AMAs with the whole team twice a week, live chart analysis daily, Elliott Wave lessons, TA requests for members and a whole list of other things going on in there. Why not come down and have a look? Once in the general chat area, just add mention a member of staff and we'll be happy to help you out however we can. Also in the description below, you'll find an affiliate link to Bybit. This is one of the best exchanges uh, for trading in our opinion. Whether you want to leverage trade or just spot trade, it really is a great exchange and it's the one that we all use. Okay, so let's jump into the price action here now. So... <clears throat> We were looking at a few things and it hasn't invalidated yet, but this ABC to the upside at a one to one is looking to push up to this uh, 1292 area. And if that happens, that will if I go down into my time frame here. What we are tracking here is the potential of an extension of this, this five wave move that we can count in here. So until we cross above this 1291, it, it's possible that we could get an extension. Here. Though I do think this, this five wave move is the C wave of a, of a corrective move before it, but this is just keeping an eye on it. Effectively, if we can break, if we can break this 1291 and this 1350 area, it would, it would mean that there is no, no more potential of an extension from this previous uh, wave to the downside. And it would maybe make us look at this as a standalone um, correction. So if that's the case, we and we break above this point, then uh, I wouldn't be looking at potential for anything impulsive off of these uh, current moves to the downside, though it could potentially start. So there is, this is another option which I'm just keeping an eye on, is potentially that we have an A wave down here, this is a B wave, and then dropping down into the C wave position of 1073. <clears throat> Though I do think the other options are more likely, so I'm going to go over those in a second. This this would only become my preferred count as if we start to break some of these lows at 1151 and uh, 1072. So if we go over to the other counts, well, the, the, these are the ones which I'm, I'm I'm actually thinking are more likely to be playing out. So this one is looking at the potential of a flat correction here in a B wave. And there's there's two things that could be going on here is that uh, either we're going to get a flat correction or we're going to get a triangle. That's what I'm also keeping an eye on. And um, if we if we have a look at this, there's a potential that if we form this as a, as a zigzag to the upside, uh, we could get something like this where we get some kind of a triangle within this, and then that would be A, B, C, D, and then E. Although we would only have confirmation of this on the D wave retracement, so if that was to happen, we'd come up here maybe towards this 1296 area as a one-to-one, -one, drop down in an A, B, C, find support on this, on a tr on above this uh, 1075 area, and then look to compl complete the, the, the E wave to the upside, if that plays out. So, there's not enough information to confirm it yet. So what we have currently though, within this move, is I'm looking at this as a potential of having a five, a fifth wave extension within this. So that would be this as a one, two, three, four, and then this this whole um, wave up to the, to the upside as a, a five wave move in the in the fifth. So if that's the case, then what we would be looking for is upon completion, we'd be looking for a deeper retracement down back to this uh, 1,221 area to 1,170 area. Now, this previous uh, fourth wave here could be an interesting zone as well. The 50% lies up with the, these previous uh, resistance area on the, on the left here. So it's potentially a place we could look to revisit and retest some of these um, previous resistances. So we're keeping that in mind that if that happens, then uh, it'll also it'll also um, invalidate some of the other stuff that we're going to look at in a second. So if we do this, we'd be looking at a complete five wave move, be looking for a drop down, and then if we're going to get some continuation, it would be off of this point. Whether it would be in a, a bigger five wave move or just uh, potentially another uh, zigzag. Uh, it, it's it's not clear, so we would have to wait for confirmation. Though 
given the current structure, we've got a five wave and a five wave, we would want to either see um, a move down into, into this low area and then another zigzag if it's going to develop as a, as a, a double zigzag or something like that, or we're going to be looking for a, a five wave move off of this. So this would then effectively form one, two, and then we'd be looking for, for a third wave to, to start happening. So that is what we're looking for here. If we move uh, below this 1228 area, that would invalidate this yellow fifth wave to the upside. And additionally, uh, moving well, moving below this 1151 would then uh, remove any potential of this extending further to the upside. So those are the areas that I'm watching. <clears throat> the other way we can look at this is that we have potentially some extensions within these waves. So if I go back down to the smaller time frame here quickly, there is potential that we are actually within a third wave still. And the way that we're looking at this is that we've got we've got this move. So we can either have this as a one, two, three, four, and then we're forming an extended fifth wave, or we've got this as a one, two, this is another one, two, this is now within the third. So it be have, looks like an extension within this wave one, if that's the case. So that would be a one, two, then uh, be looking for, this is a one, two, three, four, and a five up into this area of 1300 to 1289, followed by a retracement down, to, down into this zone of this 1259 to 1291 area with another push up to this area here, 1314 to 1301 preceded by another move down in an additional fourth wave. So these could these could line up quite quite neatly in this area. Um, it depends exactly if they play out. Obviously with this invalidation of, of the first of the yellow fifth wave would come by crossing below this 1223 area. And additionally the the green fifth wave would come by crossing below the 1184 area. If we if we complete this move here and then we start to break down, then what that would mean is that well, if we break down past this this area here, that would mean that this these these additional extensions within the wave are not um, are not valid, and that that basically that was just a five wave move with a with an extension, and then we would be looking for a move down into the support zone. So those are the things that I'm going to be looking out for. See whether we, we get these additional fourths and fifths within here. These are obviously just worked off of fib levels at this point. The exact um, structure could change depending on if, whether there's further extension within these waves that isn't uh, visible at this point. If that's the case, it might look to push up higher. What we were looking out for is a move up to this 1399 area. If we do move up to there, then we potentially have a, a one, a two, a three, and then a fourth and a fifth to complete up. And then if that was the case, we would be looking at this whole this whole move here as a an A, a B, and then a C as a flat. So that's that's what we're looking out for. And those are the price targets. If we if we start to deviate from this, like I said, and we drop down below this, then the then this support zone would be looking for potential that uh, we extend. If not, then if we start to break down and we take out these lows here at uh, 1151, then we would need to be careful that we don't have some kind of other structure here. And that, like I said, that could potentially be something like a double zigzag where we come up here move down, probably possibly retest this um, 1151 area and then move to the upside again in another zigzag, or we, we just start to break down and, and take out these lows. If that happens, then I'd be looking at us potentially extending to the downside within some uh, of that first wave structure we were looking at. I hope everyone finds this video useful and informative and if you did and you haven't already please hit that like and subscribe button and i really appreciate you guys watching thank you for being with me for another video and we'll see you in the next one take care everybody